afternoon cactus people we've just had a thunderstorm so I thought I'd start today's video with uh, just a look at the sky after it's gone because it's rather lovely Okay, so the real reason for today's video is the Brazilopuntia brasiliensis, which uh, is often shortened to Apuntia brasiliensis, but uh, that's its full name. Uh, it's um, the only species in the genus, so uh, I've got the entire lot there. Now, I'd read before that um, this didn't like to go below 5 centigrade. Um, there was an article about one in the um, BCSS magazine last year, uh, so I kept this um, this one out in the open bed in the cactus house where it definitely went below five during the winter, and it was absolutely fine. And just for insurance, I kept one in a pot uh, in the warmer section, which was also fine. So just having a quick look at this one here. Because this one is um, starting to form a, a stem or trunk at the bottom, which is what they want to do. They want to be trees, they're not just small plants. Uh, so that's that one. Now we're going to have a quick look at the other one. Now this is the other one that I have. And as you can see, it's got its very own pot that says Apuntia brasiliensis on the side of it, which... Uh, I got from someone at the Cactus Society, which had a, a different plant in it, and I thought it'd be uh, rather appropriate to put the actual plant in there, which uh, I thought was good. Uh, but this one I do want to propagate from, so uh, what I'm going to do is I noticed this um, central pad came up um, during the spring, uh, which looks like a bit of a leader on there. Now, as nice as it is, I'm going to take the um, two side pads off there because this will just keep getting bigger and bigger and become top heavy and pull off anyway. So um, I thought if I take these two off, then I've got plenty of propagation material there. So um, it looks friendly, but it's not, as I found earlier. It's got some uh, nasty little spikes in there. So I'm going to use the, uh, the oversized tweezers and gently twist that round not pulling at all so that's come off very cleanly and the same with the other side and hopefully leaving the one in the middle that will now become the, the, the main leader on the plant it'll probably still get side pads on there but um, to have that as a central trunk or stem would be nicer uh, one I saw in the cactus magazine last year was about three foot high I think and the stem was quite rounded and it had been regularly pruned to keep it um, clean and it looked like uh, for all intents and purposes a nice little topiary tree which uh, was quite different okay so that's that one we we'll keep him as our main plant. Uh, I'm not going to do this now because it will involve a pair of gloves as well but um, what I'm going to do is hang on, take off the uh, the bigger pads here here and here and use these. I'm not going to try and propagate from the smaller thinner pads though so I don't think there's a lot of flesh in there for them to um, root up from. So use these pads and just put them into this um, pure sieved grit. I took all the big bits of grit out of this earlier um, and just basically put it in a, a shallow tray like that. It's the first time I've propagated from this so it's um, a bit of an experiment. Uh, I may do that one and then do a separate one with compost and grit in it just for comparison although I doubt if there's going to be that much difference it will probably be um, just as effective to root it up just in pure grit and at the same time I'll be rooting up um, or potting up these um, Apuntia quimbillo which are ready for potting and some 
plenty of SD to start her pads which uh, have been lying calloused over for a, a few weeks now and they're, they're fine I'll put those into some grit and uh, do the whole thing at once uh, that was it I know it's only a little one today but thank you for joining me everyone